Hey guys, it's uh, Eric here, Megatech PC. Thought I would do a short video here. Um, it's the eve of my new build, um, and I don't know. I thought maybe I would just uh, kind of go over my thoughts with you concerning what I'm about to do, why I'm about to do it, um, how it all comes together, and. <clears throat> just kind of wanted to have a starting point for my videos um, kind of give you an idea of what's coming um, I plan on doing <clears throat> this build uh, and then comparing the results with uh, several benchmarks um, to my old rig which was a, a Sandy Bridge 2600k um, build I'm going to be using the same video cards, um, two GTX 580 Lightnings, um, which will then be put in this uh, new build. When I'm done with all of the testing, I'm going to part out the old build and, and sell it off. But um, before I do that, I kind of thought it would be a cool idea to, uh, you know, let's see what uh, what kind of performance gains I'm I can expect with my new build. Um, I know that there's not uh, a whole whole lot of um, uh, you know performance gains to be expected going from 1155 to 2011, um, at least in gaming. Um, of course, uh, multiple multiple threaded um, applications are going to be much better. Um, so I expect to see the CPU benchmarks do uh, really well with the 3960X that I'm about to to use um, but you know I'm curious to see how the gains are gonna be with uh, gaming so there's gonna be some gaming benchmarks I'm gonna load up Crisis 2 um, I've got the Lost Planet 2 benchmark uh, Aliens vs Predator um, may do the Crisis 1 benchmark definitely the Metro benchmark just that sort of thing and um, and we'll see. You know, the, the only difference really is uh, there's a lot more lane, uh, PCIe lanes on uh, LGA 2011 than there are 1155. Um, so, you know, presumably we're going to see maybe some slight gains um, with my SLI setup. I'm also going to run benchmarks with uh, single card setup just to kind of be as thorough as possible. And um, so that's just kind of where I'm at. This is a. Uh, Obviously, my old case, which I'm going to reuse. I I thought about buying another case. Um, I really like the Ravens, the Silverstone Ravens. Um, but at the end of the day, there just really isn't a case out there that I like better than the 600T. Um, it's still my favorite case, my favorite looking case. It's just such a nice looking case. Um, and, you know, it's got all the functionality that I need. Um, with the fan controller, which I've had no problems with uh, in almost a year of using it. Um, and I'm reusing my uh, Samsung Blu-ray drive. Um, and as you can see, it's completely gutted out. I spent all day today, uh, not all day, but at least a good hour or so, uh, cleaning this thing out really thoroughly. Uh, I got all the dust out. I cleaned all the grime out everything is uh, just the way it looked when I first bought it so um, as you can see here I am just about ready to open up my new power supply um, I was running an AX850 and you know I don't want there to be any um, confusion here I'm not saying that you need a 1200 watt power supply for what I'm uh, gonna do here I'm gonna have a Rampage 4 Extreme. I'm gonna have eight or four uh, four gigabyte DIMMs. I'm gonna have uh, two solid state drives, uh, uh, hard drive, um, the two 580 Lightnings. <clears throat> I I honestly think that I would have been fine with the 850 uh, watt power supply. Um, if you look at uh, typically these rigs with the power draw, um, it would have been right there at the top of uh, its performance uh, index, but I believe it would have been fine. I just, you know, out of personal preference, 
I wanted to go with something that was completely future proof. Um, something that I could, you know, maybe add a third or a fourth card later down the line. Um, because I, I, you know, really the 580s are just kind of stopgap. Um, I'm going to be turning those in for 7970s as soon as I can find some. And uh, they're even more efficient than the 580s, so I really definitely won't need 1,200 watts for, the, for two 7970s. But, you know, I figured I'm going with a uh, Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard and um, 3960X uh, CPU, uh, you know, what in the world? I'm, I might as well splurge on power supply. I've always said don't uh, go cheap on power supply. So uh, that's what I kind of did here. And, and just to be clear, I'm not uh, in any way uh, recommending or saying that it's required to have 1,200 watts for a Sandy Bridge E setup with just two video cards. Um, I think the a good quality 850 would be fine. I also think that a, uh, a good quality 1000 watt would of course be fine. Um, and let me try to pull this out of here. Uh, it's kind of difficult with the phone in my hand. Do the one handed lift up here and see if we can get it. This is the problem I had the last time. I really need a tripod to do these videos properly. There it goes. Now you get a good close up there of AX1200. Um, so anyway, there, there, here we go with the box. I don't know. I guess this kind of just turned into an unboxing video right out of nowhere. Um, so bonus, you get to see me unbox my new stuff, which, you know, has been done a million times. This will definitely not be the first AX1200 unboxing you've ever seen, but there it is. Um, with a manual. That's awesome. And a power cord. That is helpful. I'll try to keep these straight now. This 1200 watt power supply, of course, has a ton of connections. Um, there are just pretty much every conceivable cable is in here that you'd need and it's fully modular um, and we get some zip ties which are always helpful a nice Corsair sticker and of course the screws to plug this sucker in to my case and it will fit extraordinarily well in a Corsair case which is a, another bonus and we open it up and oh there is the Corsair velvet bag kind of like uh, a brand new bottle of Crown Royal, um, except black. Man, it's just packaged so nice. They really go all out with the packaging, and it's definitely worth the price to me. But um, let's see. Let me pull this out of here, and we can take a look at the actual unit real quick before I sign off. Complete this uh, impromptu unboxing of the Corsair 8 X1200. This was supposed to be just a video uh, kind of with of my thoughts and it kind of turned into this. So, it doesn't matter. Um, let me get this opened up here. Because it wouldn't be fair to show you all the accessories and then not show you the actual power supply. Because I know at least one of you has not clicked off yet. You just have to see this. You probably have one of these power supplies uh, sitting in your rig right now and you're watching me unbox this one poorly with one hand while I'm trying to use my phone to videotape it. Never mind that. I didn't say that I'm using my phone. I've of course got a very incredible awesome uh, DSLR camera doing this. I'm sure you can tell. Um, so here it is. Uh, the AX1200. It comes in a bag too which is different from the AX850. It did not have a bag. I don't believe. Maybe it did. You can comment there in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. As you can see, it's quite a lot larger. It's longer than the 850. Um, and I'm not going to bother taking it out of the bag on this video. Uh, like I said, um, just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts on this build and where it's going. And um, 
I'll pop in and out with some more videos as I'm going here. I'm not going to try to finish this build tonight. Just trying to get a head start on it. Um, but yeah, just uh, leave me some comments in, uh, in the comments section to uh, let me know what you think about my theories on these power supply. I know a lot of people are going to say that I'm out of my mind, that of course 850 watt power supply is not enough for um, you know, six core processor with uh, two GTX 580 lightnings. Eh, you know, I don't know. We, we can have a little discussion about that. So anyway, um, keep checking back and uh, thanks for watching.